Taking a look at the energy markets today, I want to focus on WTI crude. Big mover today. Uh, nice continuation of Friday's rally. WTI crude up about 2.5%, right around the 56.17 level currently. Now, that's the high end of the range for the day. Uh, we did see a low of 54.81 early in the day, but uh, we saw, again, this rally continue a nice, strong run out of coming off of the lows from last week. Uh, certainly helping to support this rally, I believe, was uh, the equity markets. When we look at the activity here to start the day, we saw the equity markets up very strongly. Again, feeding off of last Friday's rally and once again into today, was they got some news from central banks that was positive, particularly from China. Looking at the geopolitical tensions, I think in the Middle East, another factor here impacting the pricing of WTI today. Now, we did see some tensions elevated over the weekend where we saw a Yemen drone uh, hit uh, an oil installation in Saudi Arabia. Uh, I don't think it was uh, too much as far as the damage concerns, but when you look at the tensions in that area, it, it, it elevates those tensions. And with that, I think that's another reason why we're seeing the short term uh, uptrend here continue, not only in WTI, but as Brent as well. And looking at the, the trends, as I talked about here, let's re refocus on those for the start of the week. Now you look at the short term trend, it still is down at this point, even with today's rally, that short term trend from July highs, you see a series of lower highs and lower lows. 5640, I think is the key level here when you look at WTI, and I'm talking about the October contract since we just rolled over the weekend. So that October, October contract, 5640, if we can break above that, that would break the short-term downtrend from J July levels and could possibly reverse and see WTI now pick up some steam to the upside. From a longer term perspective, the fact that we held those June lows around that 50-50 level, I think is uh, a short term positive as we see this consolidation pattern moving into a tighter formation here. But it's incumbent upon the market, I think, this week to take out that 56-40 level for it to uh, see an uh, elevation to the current trend of trying to find some stability within the WTI space.